Hey everyone, this is Alec Kermit. I purchased Space Channel 5 Part 2 off of Steam the other day, and if you've read any reviews on this PC port, or maybe you've watched Classic Game Room's review, you know that it has some issues. The first of these three issues, which, by the way, I ran into all three of these problems when I installed the game for myself, is that your inputs during gameplay don't perfectly sync up with the game, and this is really apparent near the end of the second level when you're facing off against Pudding in the guitar battle. And this makes the game pretty much unplayable, uh, unbeatable, and not very fun. Uh, the second problem is that V-Sync, or Vertical Sync, in the graphics options for this game doesn't work even when you turn it on, so you're left with this ugly screen tearing in your image while you play. And the third problem is that you cannot go over 720p resolution, even though there are higher resolutions selectable. So I've actually done some research and tweaking, and I've fixed all three of these problems for myself, and I'm going to show you how you can do the same so that you can play the game perfectly on PC. So the first thing that you want to do is right-click on your desktop and choose your dedicated graphics card control panel. This might be ATI or NVIDIA. And you're going to go to Manage 3D Settings and go to Program Settings and find Space Channel 5 Part 2 in the drop-down. If it's not there, and it wasn't for me, you have to go to Add and select them uh, manually. And I had two different .exes um, for Space Channel 5 Part 2, so I added both of them. And I went ahead and changed the settings for both. The settings I put on were anisotropic filtering at 16 times, you can choose whatever amount you want. Um, Anti-aliasing, you want to override any application setting and set that to what you want. And then triple buffering and vertical sync should be turned to on. That's going to get rid of your screen tearing issue. Go ahead and apply those settings and close out. Go to Steam, double click on the game, go to Configure Space Channel 5 Part 2, press play. And you're going to make sure that your dedicated graphics card is visible next to graphics adapter. If it's not, go ahead and start the game up, play for a little bit, and come back uh, and reopen this window. Uh, it should appear, it should be recognized after you changed your, um, your dedicated graphics card control panel options. So make sure that's there before you move on. Um, set your resolution to what you want. I've got it at 1080p at 60 hertz. Um, I don't think these two matter, I think they're being overridden, so. And then I've got it on windowed so you can see gameplay. And then go ahead and play the game. And go ahead and confirm that your graphic settings are working properly, that you're getting V-Sync and your resolution is proper. And once you do that, you're going to press Control-Alt-Delete while the game is running. Choose Task Manager go to details and find Space Channel 5 Part 2 in the list and right click it choose set priority and set it to low confirm that right click it again and choose set affinity and turn off all of your CPU cores except for the first two um, if you have a single core just have the first one checked But I have CPU 0 and CPU 1 selected out of my seven or eight cores. Press OK, close Task Manager, and your game should be running perfectly now. Uh, you will have to do Control-Alt-Delete and go to Task Manager every time you run the game to get the syncing perfectly, but it only takes a second or so. Um, so yeah, I hope this helped you out. Give me some feedback in the comments, and I hope you enjoy this awesome game. Alright, bye-bye guys.